Hey everyone, if you wanted to make TikTok, YouTube shorts, or other vertical format videos without having to cut, crop, duplicate, overlay, all the different tracks within a video editor, or maybe instead of taking a clip from a live stream and then reconfiguring that into a vertical format, you want to make a quick video specifically just for TikTok. Well, I'm going to show you how to easily set up a new scene collection within Streamlabs OBS in under 10 minutes. This method not only will make the editing process super easy once you're done recording, but will also increase the quality of each piece of the video. For instance, you're not going to take the face cam piece of that Twitch clip and then stretch it out. Uh, you'll basically have each piece natively recorded in that 9x16 vertical format with full HD quality of each input. So you're going to click the arrow next to your name uh, in the scene collections, hit manage all, and you're going to click the green create new. Now you can name this TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever is gonna work for you. I'll call it YouTube Shorts since I already have a TikTok one. We'll hit done. So now you have a new scene collection. It's currently set in the widescreen format. So to change that, you're gonna go to the settings cog down in the bottom corner. You're going to click on video and then next to the base canvas resolution, you're gonna hit use custom because you can currently see we're set up in the normal 1920 by 1080 format. You're going to hit use custom and you're going to flip this to 1080 by 1920 Hit apply and you'll see in the background it's already switched over to the vertical format and now you want to make sure that you are also changing the output resolution otherwise it's going to stretch this vertical format into widescreen it's going to look it's going to do some funky things so <laughs> if you want to see it look weird feel free to try it out but you're going to want to switch this over to 1080 by 1920 also hit apply you can use your normal um, downscale filters, F FPS type values, all that stuff. I would recommend for these purposes of increasing this to the, the best that your computer can handle. If you normally stream in 720 or another resolution, you should be fine to have these full HD settings since we're only going to be using this to record. Now, keep in mind as you're doing this that TikTok is going to add your title and hashtags, all that stuff down in this bottom corner. And you're also going to have your like comment, share, all those buttons over in this side of the screen. So you're gonna to wanna to keep that in mind for when you're setting up your videos, you don't want things getting caught behind the text in those icons. For my videos, I have three sections, two cameras and a capture card. I'll show you how I set up mine for gameplay content. You can modify however you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is click uh, in my sources panel, the add button, I'm going to do a video capture device. Again, I'm using a capture card. You can do the same process with a display capture, game capture, window capture if you're grabbing PC gameplay, uh, you know, or just a PC screen or sharing something else if it's not gameplay related. You can also do that as well. I'm going to hit add source. I'm going to call this capture card. And then I'll find it in here. And then you can see in the background, I'm going to hit done and it has it. Now it's already stretched to the, the, the full widescreen format. So what I like to do is I'm going to cl right click, go to transform and hit fit to screen. And that is automatically going to center it on my screen, which is where I like my gameplay um, and also fit it to the full widescreen. So it fits within my field of view. Okay. So next I'm going to add in my face cam by following the same video capture steps as before. Plus, video capture device, add source. I'm going to add a new source instead. I'll call this one face cam. And I'm going to select the video that I would like, which, hey, back again. You can see my beautiful mug. And we can resize this however we want. I'm going to move this down to the bottom, resize it. I want this to be behind my capture card. And now remember, there's going to be the text when you do your TikTok, probably in about this area of it. And then there's also going to be these buttons on the side here. So I put my face cam down here. That's not where I want the focus to be. I want my focus to be on my game, on the actual gameplay screen. And then my face is here for anyone that, that, that cares. At least you can see my reactions, so on and so forth as I'm talking. So lastly, I have a second camera that I use as a hand cam, as I typically play difficult Mario levels. I would like to see my inputs. So I'll follow the same steps as before. Video capture device, gonna add a new source. I'll call this one hand cam. And I'll select my Brio. And then you can see, doo -doo -doo, normally I'll have a controller in my hand here. So I'll stretch this out to how I would normally have this. Move it up a little bit. 
and I want that behind the capture card. You can see it. I can fix it however I want. But now I have my setup, my face cam on the bottom, gameplay in the center, and the hand cam at the very top. Now remember, these are just my settings. You can add in text, images, GIFs, whatever else you might want within the screen. Um, you know, maybe for instance, you don't want a hand cam. So what you could do is you could always move up gameplay video, you know, cut maybe this out a little bit and kind of have it centered. And then maybe you want to add in some text up at the top. Um, you want to have a GIF of something going on your, your Twitch handle name at the top, whatever your TikTok handle is, whatever you might want at the top, the bottom, whatever you have a little space at the bottom too, for the text of the, uh, the title hashtags, all those types of things. And that's fine. Um, again, whatever you want to do, you can do from this point. So again, this is where you can kind of get creative. You can make basically a signature look for your videos. What's going to make people when they see your videos know where to look, what to expect. You're training your followers eyes on where to look for each piece of the content. Um, again, for me, I have uh, the nice benefit of people will normally watch the gameplay video first. And then on the first view, they can look at my face, see my reactions. They can see what I'm doing up here with my with my controller. And cool, it, it, it kind of drags them to different places and hopefully will increase their retention. If people are really invested in my content, maybe they'll watch the gameplay first and then they'll maybe want to watch my reactions and they can watch again where they can just focus more on the inputs. And that's going to also help increase the replay value, the percentage of video watch, which is going to help the algorithm to continue promoting your content over and over again. Now all you have to do is in the bottom corner, you're just going to hit record, complete recording your content, however it is. And when you stop recording, you'll have your full video in HD already vertically aligned, just how you want it. And you can cut down in your video, video editor for a quick export and then upload. One more thing I just wanted to note real quick is whenever you go back to get ready to live stream, instead of recording these TikTok videos, is you're going to want to go back to your settings, video, and change your base and output resolution back to what you normally would have and hit done. And then you'll be back. So you're outputting in your normal widescreen. Otherwise, it'll output to your Twitch live stream in the stretched format from your vertical and it'll look super funky. So it takes three seconds, change that back over and you're all set. And then again, back to when you go to your TikToks, just change it back and forth and it's super easy every time. I hope you found this quick video helpful and I look forward to sharing some more tips and tricks with my fellow content creators. Please consider giving a like, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Uh, if you have any feedback, suggestions, anything, all these things will help the algorithm to, to push this video in front of some other people. But I appreciate it and look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.